It all started on a hard and compacted football pitch. And so using a tractor, we plowed it up and rotated the soil to get it decompacted so bed making could begin. We then shredded enough invasive species on the property to cover all our beds in a dense layer of wood chip, providing our soils with a layer of protection from the elements. Tree planting was next, a beautiful combination of indigenous, commercial timber and fruit trees, carefully selected for their stratification in space and time. Our half hectare started to look like the design blueprint, with over 1500 trees ready to be irrigated to start their long journey to maturity ahead. Just before the start of the long rains, we got our first vegetable seedlings. Once again, combinations of selected crops that we planted together based on their harvest timings and ready to give the first microorganisms a chance to exchange nutrients in the soil for photosynthetic sugars, an evolutionary trade-off that has been happening for millions of years. Harvest time came next and for every farmer alike, this is the true joy of watching their hard work come together. Since then, selections of the finest crops have gone into our customers' weekly shopping baskets and we continue providing naturally grown, nutrient-dense, transparent and traceable foods for our growing audience with passion and pride. The next and equally important addition to our field is pasture-raised layers, providing rich, healthy eggs. Their relationship with the pasture in our agroforestry design is to enrich it and the soil that allows it to flourish. As they scratch and actively scavenge for insects and feed on the pasture, they prepare the land for the next phase of succession, the horticultural phase. Our tree lines continue to grow and a light pruning has ensured their architecture and shape are in accordance with their neighboring plants. Continue following our journey as we expand across different biomes in Kenya by subscribing to our social media platforms or by booking a farm tour.